Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining me again for another watercolour demo. Quickly show you the colours before I start. We've got Ultramarine, Cad Yellow, Payne's Grey, Lizarin Crimson, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber, Light Red. This is the large Ron Ranson Oak brush. I'm using 15 by 11 watercolour paper. I'm going to start this one off some clear water. A little bit more than that, I just want this nice and wet, so I want all the colours to blend in the sky when I put the colours on. So that's nice and wet, that paper. And I'm just going to take a little bit of raw sienna, a little bit of lizarine crimson. There's just a hint of cad yellow in there as well. And then in here, I want to preserve a light area. I'm going to use a little bit of, little bit of blue as well. A little in crimson, a bit more water, a bit of blue. I'll push that in there because it's across the top. It's going to end it on like that. Going from this side. More crimson, more blue, just, just, just the very tip of the corner of the brush I did in the water, just to loosen it up slightly. But not too much because otherwise there'll be paint all running all down the page, paper. So, I should put a few little clouds in there. Just got a little bit of Payne's Grey in there, ultramarine. So just just want a hint of some cloud just there, only very small, very subtle. Just that, just like that. Just push down a little bit more. Right I want quite a on it's quite sharp on the rod, so I'll have to dry it, but I should put it flat first against me uh me easel. And I'll get the air dried out and then I'll put the horizon line in. I like beg me one sec. Same colours as the sky. Oh, it's just to loosen the paint up a little bit. And then I'm going to come and bring it to just, just above the halfway point, I think. Just watching those, I've got just a loose hair in there somewhere. It's still slightly damp there, you see how it softens it off a little bit. And then just I'm just dabbing here, here and there, just leaving little bits of unpainted sections. Just for like little details in the distance. I don't know what they are, it could be anything. Through, and I want to just slightly darken it a bit. Just add a little bit of Payne's grey, a little bit of blue. Slightly darker mix, so just get this a little bit closer. Side. So I've just, it's slightly darker than the tones I just put in. It's slightly, it's a little bit closer. So 
Got a few little trees there. Don't mean to put that in there, are A few little trunks with a fingernail. Try not to overdo it too much. Just like little dips and dabs. Things growing here and there. Using the same, it's quite a limited palette. So just give that a first. I just want to make sure it's it's, it's flat. And I'll give that a quick dry. I'll put some trees a little bit closer in. So first, just make sure that horizon is dry. trees in there so I'm using the same colours but really less water more paints really dark and I'm just gonna try and get some random shapes get that one a little bit bigger and just pop in some little Trunks, these trunks in there. It's just a little bit dry. Just need a little bit more water just to get these trunks up. Not to paint over anything. It's not happy with. Let's pop a big one in there. This right hand side as well, I think. Um, I'll come back to them in a bit and uh, pop a few shadows on the ground from those trees there. Um, just need some over here, I think. Just a I'm tempted to go with some, just pop some, just a man made thing. I'm just going to go with a two or three telegraph poles, I think. Just pop that one in there, like that. And then I want to, I want to do them just, just go out the, off the edge of that hill. Just do them quite narrow. further away. I'm going to have to switch to the other brush I think for the rest of them. So I'm switching to the rigger brush and then they're, they're quite narrow the lens. So I just go off. Down the uh, down the hill so I just want a few little lines. Just some of interest on that right hand side. Just darken that a little bit. 
right now I think I just want some shadow so I'm just gonna I'm using the same colour actually I'm just loosening just lightening it slightly by adding a bit of water so I'm using that same mix just dipping the corner of the brush into the water just to lighten this a little bit and I'm gonna have so lights coming from there so I'm just gonna Some of these trunks there, and then let's just pop, pop the shadows in there. That's coming like that. So these are sort of coming, light sort of coming from that sort of direction. So. I think I'm almost there. All I need now is a little figure. Just need a couple of little figures. Just walking over there somewhere. Um, so I'm just going to do them just, just down this hill, I think. Just very, very small. I think I'm going to call that one finished, so I'll just pop my name in the corner. Let's see what that looks like with the mains on it. So here's the finished painting in the mains, so let's have a closer look at it. Started off with the sky area, we got mixes of um, raw sienna, lizard and crimson for the lighter, the lighter sections. Darker areas, I added a bit of ultramarine. Now preserve this this area in the sky which I wanted reflected down in the snow below and then just use the just use the height just to suggest a few little clouds here just put in very very simply very subtly just heading out over the horizon line the horizon line using the same colours I've dried the paper just so I've got a sharp edge might have been better if it was a little bit more a little bit more damp and it had softened up a little bit I'm not sure but little bits of unpainted bits there just suggest details should have filled them in a little bit more actually made them look like houses or something then coming further forward putting this slightly darker section there which leads us right up to the edge where like little figures are there just to the edge of this snow section imagine it's like it's like a hill just uh, you can just look over the edge there a few little trees these would have been better a little bit darker i think because they're the same tone as the distant stuff a little bit darker, and then maybe these even darker still, these trees right in the foreground. But a few little um, scrapes and a few trunks here with a fingernail. And then some dibs and dabs with the brush here. Just little bits sticking up through the snow, coming right through over this right hand side here. And just, just uh, shrubs, whatever, growing, popping up through the snow. Got these telegraph poles, slightly wonky. That's a worry. They get smaller and smaller as they go off over the horizon line. And we've got the light coming from the sky in these trees there. As I say, maybe could have made these a bit darker like those ones there in the middle ground. And we've got the shadows coming across the snow there on the ground. And then finally our little figures there looking, admiring the view. Well, I hope you enjoy that. That's all for this one. I hope you was painting along with me. Um, keep practicing, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.